Oh my god, it's Resident Evil 2. It's Leon. Say hi to Leon. What's he doing? He's got red gems. He's also got an ink ribbon. I should put that ink ribbon away. It's gonna take up space. Last time, we found Wesker's secret roll of film with Rebecca. We developed it. That's what we did. Let's use these red gems. We're gonna put him in the statue, he's gonna open the thing. It's gonna be a thing inside the statue. You remember how it goes? We did it as Claire. When Claire did the things with the gems, she got a block with an animal on it. Well, Leon's not looking for an animal block. He's not looking for some sort of silly, fancy key like that. Leon is much too serious for that. Leon is looking for a key that looks like a chess piece. Hey! Wait! After that little girl... Oh, but Sherry is so small. She can maneuver around, no matter- No wonder how she survived for so long. No one else could crawl under this. She got the precinct key. Well, we could use that. See? North knelt shut. I can't pass through there. It's way too small. Leon is a grown man. You can't fit in such spaces. Leon! Claire, you made it! Yeah. Have you seen a little girl around here? Yeah, you just missed her. Who is she? I don't know. But it's too dangerous for her to stay here alone. Leon, I'll go look for her. You go and find us a way out of here. Of course. But before I forget, here's a radio. That way we can keep in touch if something comes up. Alright, so now we're seeing this cutscene from the other perspective. When we saw it as Claire... Uh, Leon was down here. He's walking down this hallway, and we might wonder, why was he walking down that hallway? It's because he was chasing after Sherry. Now we know. Now we know the other side of the story. See, we're filling in the blanks. Now Claire has the radio. She can talk to Leon, though she and Leon will not be talking much. Just kind of a few times. And basically, it's just... Just Claire just says to Leon what she's doing, and Leon says, okay, we're in the library. We heard a window break because, oh no, this cord is going to short out. Here come the zombies. So we used a cord as Claire to bring those shutters down, but the cord short shorted out. So now zombies are in that hallway. I didn't have to do that because that activates when we walk into the library. I could have just stayed out of the library and would have been fine, but I went in here. So that's that. Anyway... What I want to do, I have this key, I should probably use it. I should probably use the, the red gems. I have the red gems in my inventory and they're taking up space. I need to get free up some space, because inventory space is important in Resident Evil. So let me go over to the statue. That requires the two red gems to open, to get an essential key that we need to escape into the sewers. There's actually a friend that dropped from the ceiling in the next room, so I should get the shotgun out. You know, something I was just thinking, looking at playing this game with the high-resolution characters, but the original, you know, low-resolution 240p backgrounds. It's kind of a shame that Capcom didn't keep the original 3D data for the backgrounds of the old Resident Evil games. I guess they didn't keep it for any of them. One, two, three, or remake. Or any of the... I guess zero, yeah, zero as well. Also use the same uh, pre-rendered backgrounds. I guess they must not have because I've never seen them actually a uh, re-release of these games that had a uh, higher resolution backgrounds like re-rendered. The remake remaster uh, did not re-render the backgrounds; rather, they were touched up to uh, to try to you know make them. Make them not look so low res, but they weren't re-rendered or anything. It was like, you know, Photoshop, I guess. But it seems like a shame that Capcom just didn't keep the 3D data that could have been used to re-render all this in higher res. I mean, I guess it was the... No, hold on, I got this plug. That's what I have now. I guess it was sort of practice at the time to just sort of... Not really keep track 
of the of your working files from a game that's been completed because why would you need them anymore i guess developers are much better about that now i suppose but not with these older games i have the diamond key the diamond key will not get us higher resolution backgrounds but it will let us where, where will it let me go i should go this way because I can use it down here. And I probably don't want to go through that hallway with all the zombies. Don't need to waste all that ammo shooting those zombies. I mean, the game has a lot of ammo, but that doesn't mean we have to, we can just waste it willy-nilly. It does mean that, and I have been wasting it, but... It's been a controlled waste. It's been a... The type of waste is where I'm sure that I'll have enough ammo to make it to the end of the game. I haven't been wasting more than that. Yeah, we want to go down here. Alright, so when we go into the evidence room... Oh, hold on. Bunch of friends. So the ev oh, there's one more friend. Oh, that's a bad time. Sorry, friend. So when we went into this as Claire, there was a whole bunch of, a bunch of zombies in this room. So let's see what we find now. Nothing. So the game's faking us out. This time it had a whole bunch of zombies outside the room and nothing in here. As for what we can find in here, well, we find some ammo, which we can always use. Claire will find one part of the bomb here. The I think the C4 is here, but we can't get that. We could also find a roll of film in the back, but we already developed that film as Claire, so we don't need to see that. Let's get into the room where Marvin was. We don't meet Marvin on the, on the B route. If it was Leon A, he would meet Marvin, but not going to meet Marvin on Leon B. Marvin is a root exclusive. And we find another key. That was fast. Found the heart key. All right, we're going to use this hard key to go down into the basement of the police station. Here's Leon's desk with the party favors. With, I like, I like, I still like the glasses and the fake nose. I wish we could put that on and the party hat and drink some of the party soda. Again, seems like a friendly place to work. Let's unlock this. I got a small key. What should I... What should I do with that? Yeah. What what I should do with that is I should go up here. Because you might have noticed I passed by a little desk that had a locked drawer after I talked with Claire. Uh, Leon, he's not good at picking locks. Claire is great at picking locks. We don't ask her why she's so good at that. We don't, you know... We, le we mind our own business, we don't ask her, Claire, why can you pick locks so well? Do you do that in your personal life? So, we have the small key. Don't need to use it, but I can look at this and use it now. We will open it. We got a box. We got the H-Gun parts, exclusive for Leon. What, what are they? They look like parts for a gun. I have a gun. Let's combine them. We have the C handgun, the completed handgun. It now has an auto mode, three round bursts, so I can set it to auto or manual. We'll set it to auto. So this makes the gun, the handgun, a little bit more uh, powerful in terms of how fast it can fire. Oh, look at that spin. Yeah, I like that. You won't be able to do this in the remake. You won't be able to do a little spin. Anyway, we can now fire three round auto bursts. Where am I going? I want to use this key. I would use the the key on the other side of the police state this precinct. 
because there's the interrogation room. We can open that up with the diamond key. And I should do that to, just to get rid of the diamond key. Because again, inventory space is precious. Which way do I... I should I could go downstairs. So I might as well use this diamond key now and get the plug. Because there's a chest plug waiting for me in that interrogation room. I guess I could probably save time by using the heart key to get the club key, and then I could go oh, use the club key and the diamond key at the same time down this hallway. But let's just use the diamond key right now to get rid of it. Because I can use it on the door right here. This door. Click, click. Get rid of that key. There is a first aid spray. If I take it, then the liquor will probably jump through that, I assume. I don't need it anyway, because I'm never using these first aid sprays. I'm going to take the Rook plug. You know, I remember the first time I played Resident Evil 1, and I used a key, and it said, This key is useless now. Discard? I was worried. I was wondering, is it the game messing with me? If I discard it, will it turn out that I need it later? Because, you know, I don't know what the game's tricks are. I don't know what the game was... Because, you know, it's not, it, was a, it was a brand new game. There really were no uh, expectations as to how it worked. All right, I want to use this precinct key. And, uh, let's see, I can use the precinct key. You know, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know what the game is going to do. Oh, by the way, over here... In the foreground, like, bottom center of the screen. Is that, like, a Burger King logo? Does it say, like, Kong Burger? What do you think that says? It says K-O and then Burr. But what do you think the full thing says? I think it says something like Kong Burger. I don't know. You can, you can just guess at that. Like, I can go... You can see the bag, but I can't see the logo from here, unfortunately. We can't get a better look at it. Right, so, like, I use this key... Uh-oh, the game's giving me a choice on whether or not I want to discard I don't know if I should discard it. And the answer is yes, because if it tells you this, you won't need it. I don't actually know why it gives you the option, because you can click no, but you wouldn't do anything with the key. You just have to go put it in the box. I don't know why it gives you that choice. Door up here uses the club key, so we're not going to go in there. Rather, we're going to go down these stairs. Down to the basement. Anyone down in this basement right now? No, that's good. Okay, so as Claire, we went out to the garbage dumping area. We could go there as Leon. Probably would be a couple items, but we don't have to do that. We don't have a club key for that. What we do want to do is go to the other side to the parking lot. Now, as Claire, we looked, he we looked here... We couldn't actually go anywhere because there was a large van blocking the way. But maybe we can get rid of that van as Leon. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another zombie. Who are you? Ada Wong. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. If we work together, we can move this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? All right, so the first appearance of fan-favorite character Ada Wong, the person who is always dressed for a fancy party, no matter what the scenario. Let's push this. See, there are two people here now, so we can push this out of the way. All right, so Ada has now joined the party. So you can walk around and she'll follow us. All right, so we got a two-person party here. Ada 
Wait! Ada has now left the party. Well, we could go down this hallway or go through this door. And we hear the lovely sound of some dogs barking. And here's a manhole. Now, during Claire A, we did read a file by one of the cops saying that they wanted to escape through the sewers. This is the sewer exit. We need a tool to open this up. But down here, we're at the ken- We're at the kennels. The cage could break at any moment. Nah, it'll be fine. This is fine. It's like a red herb over there. We should probably go get it. It'll be fine. Yeah, give me the red herb. See, it was fine. We have our auto burst gun that can kill zombie dogs. And this zombie dog had a blue herb with it. I don't know why. You ever notice that humans are really slow and sluggish as zombies, but dogs are really fast and ferocious? I guess the T-Virus has a different effect on dogs than humans. Right, and down here, we get the last piece of film. We'll develop that when we get back to that dark room. For right now... Let's go into the holding cells. This one's open. A couple of herbs in here. What about down here? Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up! Now! What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben? You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. But I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. Who was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. All right, it tells us our objective, but we were just there. It's the room with the manhole. There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. I don't know if it'll... And it'll be pretty easy, I think, because we got this over here. It's the manhole opener. Oh, right, now we have the tool we need to open that up. And we heard a roar, that being William Birkin, so he's roaming around somewhere. Let's use the tool. So this is where the police were thinking of escaping to. They were hoping there weren't any monsters down here. But there are actually giant tarantulas down here. So this wasn't a great way to go. 
They can poison us. So giant poisonous tarantulas. You thought you thought you were getting away, get away from the zombies and the liquors and the dogs, but oh no, giant spiders. It's like you can't win. Uh, let me put that plug away. Actually, I don't want to put the plug away. Because we're actually nearby where I can use the plug. Um, let's see, I also have King Plug. Let's see, I have two plugs right now, it seems. Uh, I also put the... Uh, whoop, no, hold on. I'll put the film away since I can get that back out when we go to the dark room. Alright, there we go. So, down here... Can't go there. I mean, would you want to go to the septic pool anyway? I don't know. Alright, so here we find a locked door, and this is what actually leads to the sewers. And it is locked... with a lock... that looks like a chessboard, describing a king and a rook and a bishop and a knight. We have two of these. We can plug them in right now while we're at it. But we're gonna need to find two more to open this up. We don't have them. We're gonna have to come back when we get them. Ada? I don't think I've introduced myself yet. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. It's a dead end. You think we can get upstairs through this shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. How cute. That little girl must have dropped this. I think I'll hold on to it for her. Alright, we're controlling Ada now. She's wearing Sherry's locket. We got a gun, we got some ammo, we got a first aid spray, got the photo of Sherry and her family. Actually, that is not the same picture that was it. Oh no, that's not the picture that was in the locket. That's a different picture. That's, uh, I guess that's probably Ada and John. It's described, um, it's taken fairly recently. I'm, I'm guessing that because there's a woman with black hair. I'm guessing that's Ada. We never actually see John in Resident Evil 1, so is that him? I'm gonna guess so. So, Ada is a reference to Resident Evil 1. There was a, you read a file from a worker, an umbrella worker named John who uses his girlfriend's name as his password, and his girlfriend's name is Ada. So, you know, you prayed Ari 1, then you're supposed to recognize the names Ada and John when you hear them here. I do find it funny that she never actually mentions her boyfriend's last name, just says, I'm looking for John. You know him? I'm looking for reporter Ben. He might know where boyfriend John is. Anyway, this is the part that we already did as Sherry. We'll do it again as Ada, except Ada does it a lot faster. Ada moves fa- you know, Ada moves obviously faster than Sherry, and she has a gun! The gun actually does fire faster than, uh, than Leon's gun. Oop. Let's get on that. So if you played RE1, then you know that Ada's search for John is fruitless, because you know that he's dead. But no one around here would know that as of yet. Let's fill this up. And just like with Sherry, we're going to find the club key down here. And also, just like with Sherry, she was able to find some ammo for Claire by looking around a bit more. So if we look around a bit more, we'll be able to find some ammo as well. Uh, 
And this is where Sherry just got separated from Claire. Well, we can't get up there. It's too high. Did I get, a, like, an, a message? Yeah, there we go. The water pipe is under construction. I guess that's why we can't go down there. So Claire, right now, is probably waiting for Sherry to come back. I assume. Since we saw Sherry running around, and when we came in here as Ada... Leon, can you hear me? Ada, did you find anything? Right here. Think fast. Here's one more. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. What? Ada, wait! What? Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. All right, so we got a message from Claire. She blew up the helicopter, found Sherry. Does that match up with what we just saw, though? We saw Sherry running around here, though. So I guess the timeline doesn't seem like it matches up exactly. But the important thing is that the helicopter is no longer blocking the way to Chief Irons' office. And that's the main thing that we need to know. That we can get in there now. Oh, hello. Also, main thing to know is... Run, run around the spider... Nope, not poisoned. Okay. Run around spiders. I just realized I never actually kill the spiders in Resident Evil 2. I always just run around them. You can certainly kill them. Just never do. I always just run past. I guess they're easy to run past. Oh, I have this club key. Might as well start opening doors with it. Sorry, out of the way. Sorry, excuse me. Anyone down here now? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So might as well open up this weapons room. Claire already took the machine gun and... I'll take this. Machine gun and the side pack. So those things are not there, but there is some ammo there that we can take. So it's not a waste of time to open it up. Let's go over here. We'll just do the same thing that we did last time. Up 36. Up 36. Down 14. Up 36. And down 14. All right, there's a map over here we can get. I mean, I never use the map, but I always pick them up anyway. Here's some bullets. Take that for my automatic gun now. Through here. Now we can use the club key to open up that autopsy room. Autopsy room, when we were there as Claire, was full of bodies. It's not full of bodies now. But Leon is looking up, so we should equip the shotgun. Alright, red card key. Means we can head down here, use the card key on this. And we find some ammo. Find some magnum bullets. Might as well take that. We haven't been using the magnum, but this is still kind of the early game. So we're still using the handgun and shotgun more than anything. There's nothing here, though. No machine gun or side pack, because some greedy person took both of those things. 
Anyway, we did get a little bit of ammo to go right by coming in here. And while we're here, I guess we might as well take a look at the garbage area over here. Not much to get, but you can go there. There's a red herb right here. You can always you can always use one of those. This is where Sherry uh, met up and then lost Sher no Claire met up and then lost Sherry down here. Right here. But for our purposes, we might as well just duck in here into the save room. Alright, let's put the red herb away. Put that away. Uh, might as well take out our ink ribbon. Might as well save. Alright, so we met Ada Wong. She's looking around for her boyfriend, Ben. Or is she? No, not, not boyfriend Ben. Her boyfriend John. And then she met reporter Ben, who she was hoping would know about boyfriend John. Reporter Ben did not know anything about boyfriend John. But Ada is not giving up hope. She is looking for... Well, I don't know, looking for another way to get back to Leon at this point. At this point, we also have the precinct key. So that means that we can get back to the precinct. We can open up the final doors that have been remain locked. And we can get those king those um, chest plugs, which is what we're going to need to open up the door to get out to the sewers. And you know what the progression is like. It's basically similar to what we were doing with Claire. We get to the sewers... Go through that to the Birkin lab, and then get th get from there to the train, which is going to take us on out of Raccoon City. We'll continue doing that next time with Resident Evil 2.